Hi folks, welcome back. This is Lynn with PFM Arts and today we're going to do a little bit of journaling because it is Wednesday and that means it's time to journal. Now I'm doing something a little bit different like the past couple of videos I've been doing just like markers and pens and stuff like that but I decided that I would incorporate something different this time and I found this vellum page that says there ain't no sure way to find out whether you like people or hate them than to travel with them. Uh, said by Mark Twain, and I thought that was really cool. Um, there's a story that's associated with this, and I'll tell you about that a little bit later. But what I thought that I could do is I could put it here on the book and then secure it with some eyelets using the good old crocodile over here, and then use this green paper basically as a tag to go on here. So that's what's in my head. I don't know how it's going to turn out. You guys know that if you guys have been watching my videos, you guys know that I don't necessarily plan ahead. So this is going to be an adventure, to say in the least. So I think what I'm going to do first is... Yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and use the crocodile to go ahead and get these eyelets down here. And then I'll just come back with my scissors and cut uh, this little green piece of paper down to size. Why the green piece of paper? Because I needed something long and skinny and this is the one that I found. So, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. All right. So what I did bring is I did bring some, this is Scotch brand washi tape. Can you see that? Yeah, Scotch brand washi tape. It's just the first one I, that I grabbed out of the pack. And I thought that this would help me secure down the vellum until I can until I can get the eyelets in there. Now, the good thing about washi tape is that it is usually removable. All this one that's fighting with me a little bit, I don't know. Oh, okay, good. So this is some older washi tape, apparently. It's still got some stick to it. Um, okay. So it has a little bit of stick to it, a tiny bit of stick to it. All right. I think I'm going to put this kind of close to here, maybe. And I'm just using the washi tape just to kind of try to hold it down a little bit. Maybe I got washi tape that is way too old and doesn't want to hold down at all. That appears to be the case. That's okay. I'm just going to carry on. Let's see if I can get this thing started. Oh, this is, this is working out splendidly. Okay, whatever. And I figure even if I can't get all of the 22 things on this green card, I can just use up the extra area that's on the side. Okay, that's, okay, this washi tape is kind of garbage. This is probably why it was on sale. All right, so I think I have a couple of different colors here. And this is the smallest one, so this would be like the 1 8 inch. I think, hmm, what color should I use? Well, I know I'm going to put this behind it. So what is that going to look like? What stamp? You know what? I like these. I'm going to use these. And I think I'm just going to do it on four corners. I may have to put in more. I'm not exactly sure. But I'm going to try it on four corners and see what happens. So I'm just going to go bam, 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 and bam. And just see what happens. I don't know. All right, so I've went ahead. I've gone ahead. No, I have not gone ahead. So there, I've adjusted my crocodile to the one eighth punch, and that's what I'm going to use first. And I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to punch through the corner of the vellum and the paper, like so. And it moved because my washi tape is old and gross. Okay. All right, let's get some different washi tape and put this thing on where it should be. Do you guys know, like, my crocodile seems like it's getting kind of dull, so as you look at this, the paper didn't exactly punch through enough, and maybe that's just the case of it wasn't really thick enough to actually get in there. Mm, it's a little crooked. I'm still going to go with it. All right. Come in here. So just so you know, holding the crocodile like this is actually kind of difficult. Because this is definitely not what it was made for, per se. Alright. Let me go over here. What I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to get it 
approximately even on the corners so that when I put on the eyelets, they're even-ish. Ooh, this is going to be difficult to get in here. So there are the, the smaller, there's the handheld version that's basically just like this, but it just doesn't have this reach to it. Um, unfortunately, the reach, especially up here in this upper area, isn't quite enough to get it. Because it does all the same things, it just doesn't have that reach. And I can't really see what I'm doing, I'm just going to hope it. Okay. All right, that's super off, but that's okay. All right, so now I need to use these 1 8 inch eyelets that I have over here, and I need to figure out how to change this to get this to work. So I'm going to open up my directions. Literally, these are probably the only directions I've ever kept in my entire life. And I have a 1 8 inch eyelet. So what I need to use is I need to use C3. Okay. So what is down here? That's one, that's two, and that's three. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a little le uh, little number right here. So that's three. I'm just going to pull it down here. And then I need to have C. That's A. You see, I, you see how grouped up that is? That's the one I use the most. And that's B. And that one's C. All right, so I'm just going to push that back up in there. And then I'm going to turn the selector lever over to the you know I don't know what this thing is called I call this the doing something this is the punching something and this is the doing something so basically now when I when I press down it's this part that's gonna press down instead of the the hole maker things okay enough of that let's get to it all right here we go all right I have a little piece of paper still hanging on here and I'm just gonna take that off Okay dokes let's see if I can do this like this isn't all that difficult when it's flat I've never done it like this before so let's see how it turns out okay that's not so bad like I can squish it just a little bit more I think okay let's see here what do we have going on here yeah that's way better okay so I'm sorry, I didn't explain this portion of it either. This is definitely not a, not a crocodile tutorial. But the top part goes to the top part. So this is the part that squishes down. This is the top. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the, the pokey thing in there. And then I'm just squishing. There we go. And if you don't like... If you don't like how it turns out, you can always come back and put something um, like a hard surface. What have I used in the past? Normally, I don't do eyelets once I'm already in the book. But in the past, I've used just like a, a, a cutting mat underneath it. And I suppose if I was doing this and I didn't like it so much, squish, I would put maybe a cutting board underneath here and then just come back with a with a tiny hammer and just kind of whack it down and when I say it I mean these little these little embellishments that I'm working with here okay so this was kind of a pain but not so bad all right and now I know that this washi tape is garbage so that means that I'm just going to take this and do like this so I know that like this is garbage. Don't plan on actually using this for a project where you actually need where you actually need something like this. Um Oh now it wants to stick on there. That sounds about right. Neat. Alright, there we go. Alright, I think Maybe since this is such a wide space between here and here, I may come back and hit this with two more. Actually, I'll just go ahead and do that now. I'll just hit this with two more. And I think I might put one more down here at the bottom. So I'm going to put three more on here. The good news is, is my crocodile is already set up. And I do have plenty of these little, these little things. I think I got them from Amazon. I'm not really sure. Okay, so turn the selector lever to 1 8 again because that is the size of the things that I'm using and when I press down it's going to press down the 1 8 hole instead of 
the the doing things side okay so I'm just gonna come in here I'm gonna get approximately halfway if you wanted to measure you could definitely measure but you guys know I'm not really into measuring so much okay this is where I'm gonna have problems let me see if I can figure out a way to get this in the center of this I need to get it closer to the edge of the page so that's going to be down here. Hmm. Let me see if I can come in this way. And this is exactly why... Okay, this is going to work. This is exactly why that I try to do things like this before I actually sew the journal together. This is actually a very good demonstration of that. Okay, so this is definitely going on an angle. This is actually somewhat straight, but that's okay. All good. All good. Oh, wait. Yep, got to do one more down here. All right, I'm going to put this guy right about... Let's go there. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Get out this little weird piece of paper. Come here, little weird piece of paper. There we go. All right, now let's do this one. Turn this guy back over here doing things, because we're ready to do things. And smush cool now we do this and go smush so if you didn't have a crocodile and you still had a piece of vellum or literally a piece of anything else what you could do is you could make dang it dang it dang it dang it come here thing um what you could do is you could just make a pocket instead so instead of this you could use silicone glue i mean really you could this thing is just not cooperating with me right now. You can use silicone glue, and instead of putting the eyelets around the outside in basically a U shape, you would come along with the silicone glue and just put a bead of silicone glue down, and that would it would serve the same purpose. I just happened to look over and see these eyelets, and I was like, oh, that'd be kind of cool. So the only thing is, is when you glue down uh, vellum, you'll have, you can... Because it's vellum, obviously it's see-through, or at least opaque, like that. Um, you can see through it, and the glue will leave a, a trace, I suppose. Um, it doesn't really bother me. I've used that in uh, several, several journals before, and it hasn't really bothered me, but I do know that it does bother some people. Um, I don't have any issues with it, though. Oh, that moved over. That's cool. Everything was going all fine. Oh, it slipped. No, it's because it was a weird, weird spot. All right, so two choices now. Either I could take this one out that ended up squishing over a little bit, or I could just roll with it. Honestly, if I was making this for somebody, I would take it out and redo it. But this is my journal, and I don't really care that much. So I'm just going to roll with it. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, I need to get this paper to fit in here. So it looks like, oh, that's super annoying. You know what, maybe I will take it out. All right, guys, well, let me show you how to take one of these things out. So if you have fingernails, you can just come around with your fingernail and basically just pull these things up. Sometimes you may need to have a little bit of assistance with a tool. So just basically any edge that you can get up underneath this thing. And what you're gonna wanna try to do is bend it back into shape, its original shape. So I'm just coming in here, trying to get up underneath there. I'm going to use my knife, which probably isn't the greatest idea. But I'm going to use this side instead of that side. That's the cutty side. This is the non-cutty side. So I'm just going to come in here and try to pry this up just a little bit. Like that. And then I can probably get these scissors up underneath there. In theory. I didn't realize that this was going to turn into a Technique Tuesday. Technique Tuesday of how to fix things that you've messed up. Y'all, for the record, I mess up things all the time. But then it's kind of fun to figure out how to fix them. Okay, so obviously this is not something that I can reuse. This is going in the trash. But I have the opportunity to repunch this. Okay, so I'll get another one of these little guys and I'll put it in here. It's not going to be exactly perfect because you can see 
where I had to pry that out, this tour, just a little bit. But as wide as these things get when you smush them down, it's not going to be that noticeable. So it'll be okay. At least in my book, it'll be okay. Hopefully this will lay just a little bit flatter than what it was doing before. I'm not sure exactly why it did that. Might be because I had it on a weird angle. All right, so let's try to punch this again. And if it doesn't work, I'm definitely moving on. Okay, get in there. Here we go. Squish it down. Please don't be super wrinkly. Oh, that's way better. Okay. There we go. That's way better. I mean, it's still wrinkly, but it's not as bad. All right. What, what do I need to do to this? All right. So I'm going to have to come all the way over here because I got this one in too far. And then I'm going to just make this, make this easy on myself. I'm going to come in here. Going to make it even. All right, so that's the line that I have to cut on. So, handy dandy, dandy scissors. I could definitely use my Fiskars uh, paper trimmer instead of doing this, but that is all the way downstairs, and I don't want to go downstairs. So I'm just going to do it like this, and it's fine. All right, so this is still a little bit too wide. Come back in here and cut just a smidge off. A little crooked. It'll be all right. All right. So this is what's going to happen. This is going to fit down in here. Now I have a couple of choices. Either I can cut this off so only a little bit sticks out, like maybe a half of an inch, or I can fold this over like this so that it's kind of like a pull tab, which I'm kind of considering doing, or I can fold it all the way down and then have an additional writing room. I guess I could fold it like this and just not. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll have additional writing room. Yeah, because that is not going beyond the page. And it'll just be an entire list. Okay, bam. There. It's my decision made. All right. So, now it's time to write. So, the thing that we're writing on today is 22 adventures that I want to go on. I went ahead and made, pre-made a list here and here. So I'm going to put this thing on fast forward and I'm just going to write these things in here. What am I writing with? A very super fancy Bic round stick pen. All right, let's go. Okay, folks, so here are my 12 things, and I've gotten down here, and I was thinking I can either write on the outside edges here like I was talking about, which wouldn't be bad, or I can write on the back, and maybe it's going to be a combination of the two, but I think I'm going to go ahead and write on the back of this thing, but I'm not going to write on this because this is going to be the front, so I'm just going to start here. Okay. So, number 13. Alright, all done. Here are my 22 adventures I would like to go on. Some things are just going to the place and taking a tour. Some things are actually like doing things or going for a particular event. Okay, so let's come back over here. And this thing is going to fit right in here, like so. I think I do, so I did also bring along, I didn't know if I was gonna use them or not. So this is a, a sticker book that I got at uh, Michael's, I believe. And I thought, that I could use some of the stuff that's in here. Okay, so this is the Key West theme pack. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, um, I kinda want a color that goes along with this green. I suppose if I would've been planning ahead of time, I would've chosen maybe some stickers that would've gone with this color instead, but I didn't. 
So here we are. Oh, maybe something here. Um, I like the Hello Adventure, but it's the wrong color. Mm. Here's Never Stop Exploring. That's kind of nice. Okay. No, I just don't want words. Oh, this is a really cute sticker book, guys. I didn't know. Adventure awaits us. Oh, that's too big. Dang it. Um, where to next would have been really cute. Look at this sticker book, y'all. Wanderlust would have been cute. That's all the states. That's definitely the wrong color. This is places. Okay, those are just letters. Okay, so I think this Never Stop Exploring will actually fit in here, and if it doesn't, I will make it fit. All right, let me just get this snuggled in there. And we'll go with Never Stop Exploring up here at the top. Um, I do need to write my title, and I was thinking that maybe I'll write it here. I was just wondering if maybe I need to put... I don't think I need to put anything else. I was thinking about maybe putting some stickers around here, but I don't need to. I'm just going to write the title, guys. I think that's it. I have my, my handy-dandy trusty black marker sitting right here. Um, and I think I'm going to go this way on here. 22 Adventures. Yeah, that's good. All right, guys, I'm happy with this. This is actually really easy. Um, not not too much trouble. The only trouble that I had was uh, manipulating the crocodile big bite just because I'm trying to make it go in a direction it wasn't designed for. Um, but other than that, this was actually really easy to do. Um, I do like this, that it's not... Oh, i got to tell you the story real quick. So... Before my husband and I got married, we took a trip to Las Vegas because I had definitely traveled with people before and they were terrible to travel with. So I didn't tell him in advance, but it was uh, definitely a, a test for him uh, if he was actually going to cut the mustard, and he did. Lucky for him. But anyway, so number eight on here is stay on Fremont Street in Las Vegas. I definitely might have spelled that incorrectly, but last time we just stayed on like the regular strip. But he and I both really like Fremont Street, uh, so old Las Vegas, way better. So I think next time we're just going to stay on, on Fremont Street. And, you know, next year in May is our fifth year anniversary, so I think we're going to plan a trip to go back to Las Vegas. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, I hope you had a lot of fun today, and I hope to see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!